everyone welcome back so today we are gonna make a 3d cube which works like this and first the thumbnail comes and then the cube is created by its own and here i have just drawn a very little square which you can see in here and so that works something like this when i click the right arrow it moves right and left uh, up down everything works in here so first let's go to our new project which i have created for you already and let's rename it saying 3d cube and after that we'll go as a when clicked and then first we'll add a go to x and y and first we'll create two variables that's called size and i'm gonna remove the stage watchers from the both so size and angle angle okay these are the size and angle for my thing and let me just delete this my variable yep then i'm gonna set them here and i'm gonna set angle to 40 i'm gonna set angle to 40 and i'm gonna set size to 45 so 45 and then i'm gonna create a block that says make a cube and if you don't know how to create a block you can refer to my video on how to create a block and scratch so this is make a cube and we do not need any inputs so make a cube and then let's start defining it and so before that uh, uh before defining that let's just uh call for the forever if and uh, like uh, vsd and in if uh, you do not want right arrow uh, right arrow then you can also use vasd format so if then and keep right arrow pressed then it's gonna change angle so my variable which is there will be changing angle by one, uh, three sorry yep that's three and it'll call make a cube again so let me just duplicate it and make it as left arrow make it as minus one okay and after that up arrow will be one okay so i just duplicate this again and then i see that it's up arrow and i make it as one and then i duplicate the same and i'll put um down arrow and that would be minus three so now we have coded for the effects okay and first uh, let's just uh, remove this scratch cat so i'm gonna click and delete and make a very 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 small square yep uh yeah that's that's enough and so let's start first uh we'll have to uh, oh no yep first we'll have to bring a go to x and y uh, or uh, or else it just doesn't say in the same position and for this project we are going to add an extension which is pen which lets you draw and do everything so um like for now we want the uh, uh, color uh, cube to be blue so we are putting blue it is all and we're gonna start uh, doing our pen and after that uh let's just put this aside and now make this one focus yep so then after that i'll go to motion and then uh now i'll add a change y and change x change y change x and size by size and size and then i'll just duplicate them but this time they'll be a little different just a minute so i'll just duplicate them but uh this time it'll be a little different as you can see size into minus one then it'll be changed oh no let me just go to erase all 
okay let's keep it as all here and then um i'm gonna go to operators and then i'm just gonna bring this into a size into minus one and then same here size in two minus one minus one and then i'm gonna change y by size this time i'm gonna play a big, keep it as plain size so size and then i'm gonna put as point in direction angle so i'll duplicate this now you'll think that how should you make this so that'll be like angle okay let me just erase all and then i'll make now the move so let me just bring in the move and in operators uh divide so it's gonna divide size by two steps and then do this other thing after that uh, we'll change x by the following size and this time we won't have anything else but only change x and this time and move this one so this and the second time we'll put um, this so that's into into minus one again so into minus one and then i put it in here so now you see something like q being made so now i just duplicate this much and then again i just bring and change y so change y by size and i remove the change x so change x and i bring change y now this is done then after that uh, we have the same here so move size into two uh, and this time it'll be one not minus one so that's the uh, thing and you should be very careful by the y x uh, move and the operators if you just put a value wrong also like one if you just make it minus one it'll work very badly so now like i just put it as minus one it'll work very badly so it won't work properly so you have to be careful use while you're putting the things then what you can do is the best thing is like just duplicate this much and put it in down of it so see i just didn't put i uh, change the angles and all so now i got this so like i just bring it in here first and this i'll put it in here and then change y by size into one okay and uh, change x by size into minus one and now again change y by this and then uh this time again i'll have a y not a y but an x so this x will be here and then another x which is size into minus one so that will be the thing and here this won't be this and this will be our updated one which is size by two into one steps uh sorry minus one steps so for y we did it man uh, like one and for x we did it minus one this time also we are putting as minus one okay then after that i'm gonna put a uh, change x again so change x and after that i'm gonna put the same thing which we just put in here size into minus one and let's see our project oh now something's going wrong let's check that out so that's what i told so now as you saw i got the error so we haven't put change y size into one so that's what i told you you should be very careful about the uh size and what thing you are putting and like which operator you are putting and what the number you are putting which variable you are putting so that you should be cautious now you see that the same and the very good cube is made so like this and our very own cube is made by scratch 
So the reflective effect comes from here, which you can see in this, like uh, key right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, and down arrow. So you can just uh, uh, duplicate them. And if you also want VASD in here, like people, if you they use VASD in their uh, project, you can also add that in your project so that would be a good add-on and that was for the that was the end of the video and thanks for watching please subscribe our channel hope you enjoyed the 3d tutorial and how to make a cube in scratch thank you all bye bye